Hi, this is Nolan Haynes, and I want to introduce you to a brand new PowerPoint add-in called Talk Time. This was developed by myself and Jamie Garak from YouPresent. You can download it from his site, youpresent.co.uk, or from my blog, presentyourstory.com. And if you download it from my site, I will ask you to subscribe, but that's going to give you access to a goodies page that has this add-in and a whole bunch of other uh, tools and assets that will make you a better presenter and make your life better. So uh, just to give you sort of a, a little bit of background on this, I present a lot. I speak a lot. I do a lot of trainings. And it's not unusual for me to have a three or 400 slide deck that I have to pull an hour's worth of material from or a two hour training from. And up till this point, I've done all that time management and calculations on how long it's going to take uh, in Excel. But now I can do all this presentation time management directly within PowerPoint using this really amazing add-in. Uh, so if you've never used a PowerPoint add-in, they're really easy to, to install. Just go to File, Options, Add-ins, come down to Manage, and select PowerPoint add-ins. Click Go. And then you're going to Add New. And you just need to find wherever it is uh, you put it on your computer. So there it is. Click OK. And that's pretty much it. What has just happened now is we have a bunch of new tools. These are the talk time tools that have been added to the transitions tab way over here on the right. Now I'm going to go through all the features. There's a lot of functionality to this add-in, but the most important part of it uh, is right up here. It's right up here. Uh, if I select a slide, it's going to give me the option to add a time for that slide. Now this is the time that I assume it's going to take or that I know it's going to take uh, for me to present that slide. And I can use these arrows here to arrow up or arrow down in increments of 30 seconds. If I hold the shift key down, I can go up in increments of one minute. Control will give me 10 seconds and Alt will give me one second. I can also just uh, select uh, the time there and type it in uh, manually. If you want to get kind of a, a head start and, and make your life a little easier, you can do Control A and apply a timing to all of your slides here. So let's say I'm going to apply a one minute timing to every slide, meaning I think it's going to take me, or I know it's going to take me one minute to present each one of these slides. So that equals right here our total time of 32 minutes, right? Now for a 40 slide deck, you are probably wondering or asking if the math is broken. It's not because uh, talk time is not including hidden slides because it assumes you're not actually going to present those. If, however, you did want to include those, you can very easily just uh, check include hidden there and it automatically updates and you see we now have a 40 minute presentation. If you delete a slide at any point, you get an, uh, it's all real time and the calculation updates itself. If I bring that slide back in, um, we're back up to 40. If you use sections in PowerPoint, and if you're not using sections, you should be because they're a great organizational tool, uh, you can get individual timings for individual sections, uh, which is a really helpful thing to know. Okay, this whole chunk is going to take me, you know, 10 minutes. This chunk is going to take me five. I've uh, put my first five slides here into a section called introduction. Then I have a number of slides in marketing and then one in sales. To activate and to show the timings for these, you just have to check over here, show in sections, and automatically there it is. So we have a five minute introduction, we have 12 minutes on marketing, 11 minutes on sales, and again, as I include, as I hide or uh, unhide or delete slides, all those times will be updated. I should point out that this PowerPoint add in is not currently available on the Mac. However, if you do choose uh, to show your times in, in uh, sections here, it will update, it will show rather on the Mac if you open this file on a Mac. So Mac users will be able to see those. And then if you bring it back on the PC, all your timings will still be there. Those, those don't get stripped out, so they, they stay with the file. If you want to get a sense of your, your whole file, um, you can go to View All. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to uh, take a couple of slides here and just bring them down to zero. We'll see why in a second. If I check, uh, if I select View All here, it will give me a, a, a nice row-by-row row indication of um, every slide and its timing. And you'll see these little hover-overs, these are showing the titles for each slide, if you've used title uh, placeholders, which is a nice little thing, so that'll remind you what the slide is. Uh, hidden slides are shown in gray. Um, and if we scroll down, we'll see that we've got a couple slides in red. Those are the slides that I've set to zero. So this is a nice kind of check on yourself. Like, let's say you've 
added a couple slides in at the very end, right before your presentation, but you neglected to put a time to them, well, you know, you may have added in 10 minutes of material, but uh, talk time doesn't know that because it, you haven't assigned times to it. So that's a nice check. You can then go right to that slide and, uh, and apply the time and get, a, and a, and get an accurate um, calculation at that point. From this view all, if you want to, you can clear all. I'm going to do that here, and that will bring everything back down to zero. You can also just uh, you know, select all and uh, change your timings there. Now, there are a few different ways of getting timings onto slides. Uh, what we've already seen is you can type them in manually here all at once or, or slide by slide. You can also copy over timings. So if we go to copy here, um, you can copy over transition timings to talk time, or uh, you can go from talk time and go the other way. Uh, you can even include audio narrations. So if you've done audio narrations, you can bring those over to talk time. Uh, transition timings are, are here. Uh, these are these um, auto advanced timings that you can set on a slide. So if you want to do uh, an auto running presentation, you can say that that slide I want to advance after four, this one I want to advance after five, this one I want to advance after. And as you can see, as you, as you um, arrow up here, it is automatically including this checkbox after. So if I, if I wanted an auto run presentation, I could set all those and then uh, to get an accurate timing of my whole presentation, I can go to copy and here transition timings to talk time. Yes, I want to do that. And now you'll see that my presentation has been updated on the talk time side and it's now going to be a 14 second presentation. If you use rehearse timings, and that is a, that is a feature of PowerPoint under slideshow, if you use rehearse timings, it can also bring those over because what rehearse timings does is it puts the auto advanced timings into that spot we just saw. So some people like this. Um, you can rehearse at home and you get this nice little uh, uh, counter at the top left and uh, you can spend however long you want on a slide, deliver it, give your script, advance to the next slide, and PowerPoint is capturing these timings uh, behind the scenes. Um, so if we escape out of this, yes, I want to save those timings. If we go back to transitions, you'll see that those timings are here. They've been inputted. Um, PowerPoint is very accurate here, 3.74 seconds, 4.16, but they're not on the talk time section. But again, if I wanted them there, I could then bring them over, click OK, and it will bring them over. So now my presentation is 24 seconds. Now, there's some pros and cons to rehearse timings. I don't really like it because um, you have that timer thing, and also you can't use presenter view, which is kind of vital. Um, and also it, it automatically assumes you want to do an auto running presentation. So if you don't want that, you'd have to go in here and uncheck um, all of these. Uh, you can do them all at once um, or just uncheck them, but that's an extra step you have to take. But you can actually um, capture timings for talk time in the course of an everyday normal presentation. And to do that, uh, we're going to go up to record. Uh, if we check record, uh, again, we'll get a little pop up explainer. So we've now, we're now ready to capture timings in real time for a real presentation. We can do this in front of an audience or on our own. We can use presenter mode, uh, presenter view if we want, um, and we just go into slideshow. So now we're in slideshow and we spend however long we want. Uh, again, if I had a second monitor connected, you'd see presenter view. I go through this, I go through all my slides. Um, I, again, I can do this right in front of an audience. They don't see the timer, they don't see anything. When I'm done, like normal, hit escape, and it's gonna ask me, do I wanna save those timings? Well, I do. And now, if I go to these slides, you'll see that it has actually captured those accurate timings. And they have not been put on auto advance because I'm not creating an auto run and show. So that's another great way you can do this. Um, you can also do this in chunks. Uh, you don't, you know, let's say you have a two hour talk and you don't want to rehearse all two hours at once. You can do it in chunks because it will, it, by using this record button, it will only take the slides you have actually presented the timings for. So you could first do marketing, rehearse that, take the timings, and then, you know, hit record again, and then try, try your sales section, go into slideshow mode and try that. Um, so it's good. You can do it in chunks and, and incrementally add time uh, to your, your talk time talk there. Uh, if you want to know more about this, you can go to the About uh, uh, button right there and under Help, 
We've got um, all the all the features, all the explainers that I just went through. So if you want to find out, out uh, if you've gotten, you can always um, refresh your memory there. If you use this, uh, we really would love to know. There's a feedback button here. Please um, use that. Tell us how you're using it. Um, tell us what you like about it, what you don't like. If you find any problems with it, please let us know. And we'd also uh, ask you to really um, share this generously. We're giving this away for free. Uh, one of the biggest uh, complaints of presenters is that they talk too long, they go on too long, they have too much material. This is a really great way to uh, manage that and temper that and uh, get people knowing exactly how long gonna, their, their talk is going to take. So uh, again, this is Talk Time. You can download it from these two sites here. Uh, again, it's free. Please, please use it. Uh, use it in good health. Share it. And uh, thank you very much.